Welcome back. Well, time to talk some sports, but we're going to take it to the national level. And Trey, hard to believe, but I think we're going yes, to make it. Man. We are less than 100 days until football gets underway, and I'm already starting to get excited. That is right. OTAs are finishing up. Mini camps are coming up. Fret no more. Football season is on the way. I know a lot of people all over Delmarva share that excitement that we do. For more, we're going to kick it over to Kaylina. All right, thanks, guys. Well, the Eagles just finished up their mandatory mini camp, which was open to the media. And one guy who had a front row seat was Comcast Sports Neck, Derek Gunn. He's here to give us some insight on how they were looking. Now, Derek, the big question is, how is their first rounder, Carson Wentz, looking out there? Uh, on the surface, he's everything the Eagles expected him to be. Uh, he has a strong arm. He can make all the throws. But as Doug Peterson told us uh, the other day, he's still um, – making mistakes, uh, misreading on the intermediate routes. His safety valve route has always been the deep ball since he's been in his mini camp. Um, so he's right where they thought he would be right now. Uh, the guy has unlimited potential, uh, and they believe he's going to do great things for this organization. Now looking at the receivers, do you think they'll be able to come up with some big plays next season? And so far from seeing them in mini camp, what is your overall opinion on them? I think the wide receivers are one of the big question marks on this team. They don't really have a so-called number one wide receiver. Jordan Matthews is a very good receiver, and Doug Peterson had told us that he was going to have Jordan Matthews play outside as well as inside. Well, on the outside, Jordan Matthews doesn't have that straight-ahead speed. And then just the other day, Doug Peterson told us that Jordan Matthews is really excelling at the slot position, which means there's still an opening for somebody to be in that outside position. So you really don't have a definitive number one receiver in camp. And then a lot of people are also wondering, how are the other rookies looking out there aside from Wentz? Who is someone that's making some waves out there and making a really good impression on the coaches? The one guy who's getting a lot of uh, uh, notoriety right now is the fifth-round pick, the running back, Wendell Smallwood. As of right now, Ryan Matthews is the number one back, but he's only had one season where he's played a full 16-game slate, so he's like an injury waiting to happen. And Wendell Smallwood has the capability, uh, if he is what we think he is, he has the capability of stepping in and helping this offense, not just in a running game, but the passing game as well. All right, thank you, Derek. Well, I think the Eagles have a lot of things going in their favor. A new coach is obviously bringing a lot of new light to this team. Now that they're on the same page with quarterback Sam Bradford, they're headed in the right direction. I just don't think this season will be a championship season, but more of a rebuilding season. What about you guys? I don't think we should even murmur championship <laughs> with this team in any way, shape, or form. They're going to be awful. I mean, they are terrible. They're, they're, if they win four games or more than four games, I'd be surprised right now. Here's the thing. Think about this offseason. They've had an unlimited amount yes. of distractions yep. from not talented players. <laughs> That's not a good combo. Yep. They need to be more focused on maybe hitting the weight room rather than going to the after-practice parties Just at 3 in, in the man. afternoon at a gentleman's club. Let's go in. Just a thought. I mean, who goes to a gentleman's club at 3 in the afternoon, <laughs> let alone everything else that comes with that? Yep. There hasn't been much of anything good for this team yet. Yep. The biggest thing they got is a guy that came out of nowhere that, mm -hmm. I mean, they're hoping can develop as yeah, a quarterback. Carson I mean. Wicks. They're going to be, they're the fourth best team in a decent division. Well, it's funny you should say that because the new team wins a division every single year. The Eagles last won it in 2012. So it's their time to win it this year. This, this is the fourth season. It's their time to go. Unfortunately, like you said, I don't think that this is the season for that. That roster, the coaching staff look a little different, but the defense is still solid. But the offense, not much to look forward to. Like you said, they got, a, they got their hopes on this one guy. If he flames out, they're going to be pretty bad for a, for an even longer time, you know what I mean? But this team is still uh, reeling from that mess that Chip Kelly created. So yeah. I think if they can win eight games this year, you're saying four, they can surprise a lot of people, I think, if they even win eight or even get if, close to six. Oh, if they get eight, I'd be shocked. Yes, but, yes. I mean, to me, and this is – you'll appreciate this, I really think it's the Cowboys' division to lose right now. The Giants are going to be right there, but – I think the Cowboys. Are I don't want to say that. As long right. as you're Romo's ribs stay you're, healthy, you're, you're, so you're we'll jinxing the, me, man. We'll put it on you're jinxing that. me. Well, all right, it's time for another quick commercial break. But coming up next, it's what everybody has been waiting for: our top place of the spring. Let the countdown begin. Lizzie Frederick, Cave Hunlopen midfielder, and you're watching Delmaro Sports Insider.